So, what's going on, everybody? Uh, I don't remember what... What, what episode is this? <laughs> Four or five? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's a beautiful freezing morning in New Jersey at about 23 degrees, and it feels a hell of a lot colder than that. Anyway, uh... <sighs> anyway... Um, wanted to give you an update on my prep. I am down as of this morning um, to 185 pounds flat. So weight is still coming off even without the macro changes um, and without any cardio. So I reached out to my coach yesterday, which was Friday, uh, which I believe is February 2nd. And we're discussing where we want to go from here. Um, we're still not putting any cardio in, which is fantastic because I hate it. But we are going to make a slight adjustment to macros this week. Um, we're going to go down to 205 grams of carbs. We're going to leave protein and fat alone. So protein's going to stay at 220. Fat's going to stay around 55. Uh, my refeed's going to stay at 305 grams of carbs. So the goal is by the end of next week, or close to it, um, we're going to try to get down to 183 pounds. And if I get to that point, uh, which I think would be the day would be February you know, 9th or so, then he's probably going to start implementing uh, two refeeds a week to make sure that you know my thyroid level stays healthy, my, my hormones are all regulated well, and then I can maintain losing body fat and still maintain my size. Uh, I do have some progress pictures that I've been taking, which I'll probably put in these videos along the way. Uh, but also just for my own reference, I was looking at you know, my 2012 actual stage shots versus my 2014 stage shots versus what I looked like just um, this past Thursday to see you know, how has my, have my muscle bellies improved, am I fuller, am I grainier, vascular, muscle maturity, things like that. Uh, you know, just, just see any if there's any improvement whatsoever after basically not competing for three years. Uh, and I must say, absolutely, uh, the it's actually pretty incredible. My arms are bigger, my shoulders are bigger, my chest is thicker. Um, all of which were assets of mine. All the deadlifting and the work I've done on my back has paid off because I have more definition, fullness, and my back is just more complete and more dense than it was before. These were all things that I really, really wanted to work on uh, in the off season. And my legs are by far ahead of schedule in terms of definition and leanness. My hamstrings are starting to come in a little bit. I have some feathering in my glutes and there is separation in my quads already. Uh, and I'm still quite a ways out, which is good. Um, everything is kind of moving according to plan. I'm not putting a lot of stress on myself. I'm not getting overexcited. I'm just following the plan and letting my body do what it's going to do and we'll make any changes as need be. Um, it's also weird too, I, I know that I decided to do this as a secret and everybody's kind of like, why aren't, you know, people do know, obviously people who are around me, like my wife and everybody else, they know I'm in prep, but she was telling me the night, like, why don't you put up the progress pictures and let people see what you're doing? And yeah, I kind of get it, I've done that before. Um, but this time I want, I just want to focus on me during this prep. I just want to focus on my diet. I want to focus on bringing the sickest package I've ever brought. I want to blow people away and I don't want them to know that I'm coming. Um, I have no idea how many pros or which pros or any pros whatsoever are going to be at the show that I'm at. Um, but the main thing I want to make sure of is that if a lot of good competition is coming, I want to make sure they all show up and I don't want them to disappear because they think they may not beat me. Um, not that I'm saying that I'm the best pro ever, but I want to make sure everybody shows up and I want to see where I stand, whether that's first or dead last. I want to make sure that I earn my spot. So that's the main reason why I'm not really publicizing this on social media anywhere. And I'm kind of making sure that any pictures that I do post really don't start to show how lean or vascular or anything that I am. Um, I kind of blur them or whatever so that it's not as noticeable to anybody who's looking at me. Only the people who see me every day in person are kind of noticing. But I do feel way, way more well balanced in this prep, I must say. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 
thinking my macros a little like I'm, I've never panicked about planning my meals but if I really want to fit something in the day I kind of put that in from the start and then backtrack my way into the rest of my day so that I'm hitting my numbers and at the end of the day I'm not scrambling on the last meal to, to figure it out but it does have its challenges you know with fats and it, I, I don't think I've ever nailed it on the head once but I know I'm always very close to being where I need to be both protein fat and carb wise I'm also trying to make sure I get a healthy blend of different things in you know uh, I've been mixing different carb sources in instead of just using the same one or two I've been you know using chicken fish steak turkey I've kind of been blending my protein sources I've gone back to eating eggs a lot more it's something in my diet that I always enjoyed having but then removed because I was just too lazy to either hard boil them or cook them so I've just been trying to to blend everything the one the one difference in this prep or just in my in my nutrition overall is I'm only allowing myself one protein shake a day I was getting very very lazy and utilizing two and getting hundred grams uh, hundred grams of protein from away uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that uh, but I'm trying to rely well more on whole food sources now uh, to get a lot of my protein sources and just my nutrition in general uh, I just you know if it's a rough day or I'm running around that I really need to then yeah I'll, you know I'll use the two shakes but I'm really trying to make sure I eat a nice good breakfast you know a good lunch you know a good meal in between and then dinner like that'll usually be my shake and my, and my final um, macros for the day I'm just too lazy at night to, to cook food and shove food in my face and I'm kind of tired of eating so I just use that way of just easy digestion I don't have to sit there and chew which is something quick and easy and that's kind of how I've been going about all this Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.